What is liver cancer? What are the treatments of liver cancer? What is tear that is used in liver cancer? All this we are going to discuss today in this video. Hello friends, myself Dr. Swagat Dash, Head of the Department Nuclear Medicine, Sarvodaya Hospital, Faridabad, India. First coming to liver cancer. Liver cancer is fifth most common cancer worldwide and third most common cancer related death worldwide. The best treatment is liver transplant. However, many patients they are diagnosed at an advanced stage where liver transplant cannot be done. So in those cases, there are certain other local regional therapies they come into picture like tear. Now coming to what is tear? Tear means transarterial radio embolization. That means one radioactive substance is injected into the liver tumor through the feeding vessels. That, that means the vessels which are supplying the blood to the tumor and that tumor gets local internal radiation and it gets destroyed. This is the main essence of tear. Now how does it work? Basically that I have explained the radiation emitting substances either yttrium or iodine or rhenium these three are the radiation emitting substances that are used in tear that is selective intra arterial radiation of liver tumors so when yttrium is given to the liver tumor either it is attached to a glass spheres that is therosphere or it is attached to resin that is surosphere these two are type of medicines which give yttrium to the liver tumor Iodine, it is being uh, labeled with lipiodol and rhenium, it is being labeled with lipiodol. So these are the vehicles that in microspheres, that is glass spheres or resins or lipiodols. These vehicles, they carry the radiation emitting substances to the liver tumor and the liver tumor, it gets radiation from inside and it gets destroyed. This is how the tear works. Now coming to the indication of tear, I mean which patients they need tear. As I have already explained, many of the liver tumors when they get diagnosed, they are already in advanced stage. That means surgery cannot be done, transplant cannot be done. In such cases, the tear plays a role. So tear is basically a palliative treatment. That means it gives some sort of control to your disease. It's hardly cures the disease. So any patient who is not a candidate for transplant may be a candidate for tear. Then when a patient is a borderline for transplant, that means there are certain biological or disease behaviors because of that the transplant cannot be done at this point of time, tear can act as a bridging procedure. I mean when you do the tear, so in subsequent period of time that patient may become eligible for liver transplant or in those cases when nothing can be done patient is not a candidate for any other therapy tear can be done now coming to when the doctor advises you for a tear when the patient has liver tumor and it is not resectable or transplant cannot be done then your doctor may refer for uh, tear then when the patient is having very poor performance status tear can be done when there are other comorbidities when major surgery cannot be done then tear can be performed so these are the indication now coming to what are the advantages of tear that i have already explained tear can give you some time so that the patient may be eligible for transplant so it can act as a bridging procedure in some and treatment procedure in others where no other treatment modalities are not suitable or patient cannot afford them. Now coming to the treatment procedure. Tear is performed in four steps. Number one, pre-selection. I mean, to which patient is a fit candidate for tear? This has been, this has to be decided by a team of treating doctors that in, should include medical oncologist, surgical oncologist, radiation oncologist, 
liver specialist that is hepatologist nuclear medicine physician and interventional radiologist they combinedly discuss a case and they when they think that this patient should be tried for tear then comes the patient selection that particular patient whether that patient is suitable for a candidate suitable candidate for tear or not how do we do it we do one pre tear procedure that is known known as mass scan liver shunt fraction analysis macro agglutinated albumin spec scan we do and from that we have to ascertain there should not be more than 20% of hepatopulmonary shunt there should be acceptable hepato intestinal shunt so that the radiation we are giving to the liver the less radiation is being absorbed by the lung and the intestine so the side effect profile is better so in so patient who have less than 20% shunt fraction they only qualify to go ahead for tear procedure now coming to dose calculation after this shunt fraction analysis there will be dose calculation once the dose is being calculated then the actual injection procedure that is being done in cath lab by interventional radiologist per cutaneous tubes they are inserted into the particular arteries or artery which are supplying the particular liver tumor and the medicine is being injected as close to the tumor as possible so that maximum amount of radiation is being delivered to the tumor and not to the surrounding healthy tissue so this is the actual injection now coming to the side effect the most common side effect is that is post radio embolization syndrome so what happens nausea vomiting fatigue pain abdomen fever these are the most common post procedural side effects other life threatening side effects like uh, liver failure like uh, biliary complication they are very less less than 10% of cases they experience all this pneumonia can happen it is uh, the incidence is less than 1% only now another procedure is tes that is trans arterial chemoembolization this is also being done in such cases tes and tear they have overlapping indication and most often tes is being performed because it is cheaper and the procedure is less complicated tear is more costlier and procedure is more complicated so most often tes is being performed but when you compare tes versus tear hand on hand then there are certain advantages of tear like the time to disease progression with tear is more than tes that means after tes the median time when the disease progresses is almost 8 months but whereas in case of tear that is more than 1 year then the side effect profile side effects they are more in tes less in tear tumor shrinkage effect we what we are we are trying to do we are trying to shrink the tumor so tumor shrinkage effect is more with tear less with tes and when you are planning for, for future uh, transplant then tear is a better bridging procedure than tes liver has two lobes right lobe left lobe when the number of tumors are in only one lobe then we can do radiation lobectomy when they are in one segment of the liver we can do radiation segmentectomy these are all feasible with tear but not with tes so these are the advantages of tear over tes now coming to the uh, success rate if we see at the success rate i mean tear is not i mean we need to understand that tear is a not a curative procedure this is a palliative procedure either we are bridging we are buying some time to get the transplant done or nothing can be done this is the only procedure so when we see that the this embolization procedure is the only procedure for available for the patient no other treatment is feasible yeah or the no no other treatment patient cannot afford then tes can be done because it is less costly then comes tear but when we see as a bridging procedure to surgical resection or liver transplant then tear is more preferred than tes so these are the almost all the in indications all the informations which i have briefly summarized in front of you regarding tear if you have more questions 
you need to know more then you can uh, write down in our comment section you can talk to us via number which is given uh, here and for further videos you can subscribe to our channel thank you so much